OJ. This podcast is brought to you by Itopia Life Herbals, where can we sell culture combined for a one of a kind experience? Visit them at 10 AOS Kings House Road, just across the Canadian Embassy. Also, follow them on Instagram at Itopia Life or visit their webpage at itopialife.com for the latest info and strains and merch. This podcast is also brought to you by Lothian's Boutique. Follow them on Instagram at Lothian's Boutique. You can check them out at 23 West Tradeway in Portmore. And you can use my code Ariane10 to get 10% off your next bundle purchase. Also, I for sale, big ups to Shark Cup Barbers for the sharpest of cuts. She, You look nice today, friend. You know what I mean? You look really nice today. Go hit up Shark Cup Barbers located at 9 Branch Trough Square. You can go follow the boy Steve right there. All right. You don't know, so we have to big up all our patrons, but especially DB, Tamu Good, Richard Vaughn, and Zach E. If you want to support us and get access to bonus content, exclusive content, and of course, first access to content before them drop on the main page, go support us at patreon.com slash the fix j a again big ups to all our patrons big up all on ourselves Rastafarian team trimmed allegedly while in custody at police station no this news uh at least is still ongoing yeah and developing as we speak it was on the back of uh the, the brother from saint and go viral mm-hmm. after him did a call out andrew mm-hmm and, well, not yeah. call out Mr. Holness, but like call him all the time, name definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him and, yeah. Suck yeah. Him and, all them mm, things, suck him and, yeah. Tell him, find me, <laughs> and all them things. Um, him. I guess we'll group these two together. I, I very much care about it. Uh, we were tagged by several people to the, the young lady and Rastafarian young lady who apparently got, um trimmed while being in custody police custody in clarendon uh mr anderson the police chief basically said there's a police probe that is going to happen mm-hmm. the results of which will be made public mm-hmm. people are saying Fuck you on your probe <laughs> mm-hmm. we need justice Basically, the people well, who I, mean, I talk to... Well, for a probe to happen... Well, for justice to happen, not that, 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 uh, yeah, People just happen. don't you know, understand bureaucratic right. mm-hmm. shit. I'm like, them tired of bureaucracy with this well, thing. Like, them right. just see something and say, oh, fix this. What right. the fuck happened here is an is attack against Rastafari. Because it's literally right? her... War. It's her word against the police. So yeah. we need to find out what the police work is. Like, can you imagine if it was like that? Like, mm-hmm. we just take your word and <laughs> we just hang people like that. Mm-hmm. Like, no, a probe needs to happen. Because I'm, I'm hearing various things. Like, people are very confused about this. Mm-hmm. People in all sectors are... Uh, uh, so am I. A uh, 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 state. Mm-hmm. Some people are saying... Oh, the dreadlocked girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, some people are saying that... Um, as she do it? Mm. Um, because she felt that she was unjustly being held in custody, as apparently the reason why she was in custody in the first place was because of um, her mask. That she had on her mask, and she, she must take it off because, you know, so not. At least this is what she is saying. I'm paraphrasing. She? Yes. No, she said, I watched the video on Gleena, and she said Actually, that she was, Lickler, uh, no, she mm-hmm. was in the Gleena video that I saw with mm-hmm. she and her mom and her dad was that she was in a taxi yeah. and a man came into the taxi that the police was looking for mm-hmm. and she and the police was trying to take the man out of the car, um, arrest him, accost him, whatever. Um, you know, he refused or he was being he was resisting arrest mm-hmm. and then they sprayed him pepper sprayed him and then she was being You're pepper hurt. sprayed she she while being pepper sprayed it come in her eye and she said she had on the mask and that was like causing an issue of mm-hmm. her breathing so you know then, you are correct i guess something happened where she get caught up in it mm-hmm. but i mean if you, she not feeling the blanks but i feel in the blanks because if somebody pepper spray me what a bumper ass class police what yeah fuck yeah do like i'm sure that I'm was sure. her reaction sure. right and then the man the police already heightened and i guess a flex but you come badge to. and whatever yeah. so come to right because yeah. it, 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 it was it because she according to her it was first um the, da- the disaster risk management act mm-hmm. that she was breaking 
then that get thrown out and then it went to disorderly conduct so i'm like obviously that's the only reason why it upgraded to because she did a i'm sure i'm mm. like i'd be like 80 percent sure mm. i'm like 80 percent sure sorry that's what she did mm. Mm. so she said she was in lockup and then a female officer trim off her locks this she said where... she said she didn't know that she would had the chance or the option of paying the fine of six thousand mm-hmm. dollars or or 10 days in jail so she said she thought that it was 10 days in jail alone so she went she got she go and go to the lockup mm-hmm. while in lockup the the, sorry, the police corporal mitchell she stated her name mm-hmm. said she fought to follow her which she did she went to the bathroom and she had the, and she, she said that she saw a corporal mitchell with the scissors in her hand mm-hmm. and proceeded to cut off a lock of hair and then Asked for another scissors and began cutting her hair. As if in the blonde hair. Mm-hmm. So, from that, I would say there's going to be a probe mm-hmm. that's going to happen. Um, as I say, there's various levels of confusion going on because mm-hmm. I've spoken to people in law enforcement, I've spoken to people who work in government mm-hmm. as well. Apparently, and they're just confused about the matter because they're saying that it was because of an attempted suicide risk, and I'm like, yeah, that she would have hung herself with the her like, that's dumbest that's on, that's reason. I'm like, oh, can you what? Uh, Who is it? If people are gonna commit suicide, why would they commit suicide that, using their own hair? That, that's on ever. That's on like, she don't even have long enough ear. Like, stop. Who did that? Who said that? Whoever said that deserve to be fired. Yo, Whoever put the it whole, out, like the more to be the fired. more you hear about that that story, is is just the, the more confusing. It is. The more you have to try to rationalize. To be fired. Why would they? Why would the police officer cut off our locks? Yeah. And um, it's like them. I say, oh, there's police people who, who just say, oh, yeah, she just never have no sense. Cause like, why would you do that? You have you you have no rights to do that. I know the, the, po- shit, the, the, the the police, the police yeah. yeah. And you just like cause a shit star yeah. because of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it not gonna reflect good upon the JDF it because doesn't. now you have JCF, peop- the police. Uh, the J- JCF, sorry. Mm-hmm. Cause now you have people, of course, you know, painting the it- broad Coral Stroke Gardens, and say, oh, yeah. all of the, the, the police, the pro- are, are demon, all them things there. We are chronics yeah. even put out a post today, mm-hmm. which I kind of, I'm kind of proud of the post because he never fall in the, you know, Andrew mm-hmm. narrative, you know, that Andrew is doing these things. Mm-hmm. No, I think this is just, at least with the case with the Saint Anne brother as well, ultimately I think it's just rogue police just not acting in a professional manner and mm-hmm. taking things into their own hands funny enough i'm just saying look at them they had they were they were kind of doing okay you know especially remember the shooter with them the other day mm-hmm. and like people did not commend we them we were commending them as the police i do them yeah, job look at that and then now you know, just turn it all around because we're, we're bringing up both issues be with the saint and man mm-hmm. shaquille higgins yeah shaquille higgins He's an idiot, Shaquille. Without a doubt, and and it's important. He was baiting to make the that, police. Yeah, important. He to was make that baiting. Clear. He was baiting Mr. Holness. It was clearly a bait mm. that you guys took, right? Because in all honesty, even if he was a person of interest, like make him a person of interest. Why you have video it? It should no recording should come from the police, or the police should not like record him being. Embarrassed, uh, embarrassed uh, escorted. and I think what made it even more egregious is the fact that you you made him apologize on camera and uh-huh. then let him go. Now that's bullshit. And then of course, then that's when you know, overstep on the yeah, bone. Themselves, they make it seem like so, oh, did the investigation? Oh, he's not the person. Yeah, and then but interest. before you go apologize, like no, like no you don't do that like you don't embarrass me. You gonna put me on a national stage to embarrass me? Yes, I behave like an idiot. He did, but you should not be the one to reprimand me because i have not done anything outside of the law mm-hmm. and then, then you know build it up now and i make it seem as if um it's like you it begs the question and it, you, you continue to raise suspicion that or raise a comment and continue the narrative that mm-hmm. you know andrew is a dictator i'm a do this and blah and every blah. time something like this happens the yeah. always get 
arrested right. and embarrassed on social right. media. And that's what I say. If it's a thing where you're right, where you're right, say is is rogue police officers mm. acting outside of their jurisdiction. And if that's the case, then obviously they need to be reined in. They need Coming to be out removed. in line and. Uh, it's easy for fall prey to certain narratives on social media. Mm-hmm. It's easy because even when the, the Shaquille Higgins thing happened, mm-hmm. and I said, I'm not telling a lie, I was drinking the Kool Aid. I said, I'm not telling a lie, this don't look good on mm-hmm. our prime minister. Mm-hmm. And when people express the sentiment, say, oh, these are, are, are signs, are early signs of dictatorship and fascism and all them things, mm-hmm. they might base it off of what has historically been early signs of them thing then. Mm-hmm. You see me? But when you really pre deep still, I say, it also be real with the society we live in and just pre-say You know, say you know, so you have some green police out there. <laughs> some green police that don't take lightly, they don't take, they don't take it lightly that you are uh, insult the prime minister like that. Mm-hmm. I remember when I bring up the point, say, them been a get out, even though they, some of them been a get praised, them been a get a warm time to with the whole ice cream thing. And them. They been being embarrassed. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I feel like with him giving out the address, mm-hmm. it's almost like them take the chance. You know what? I'm going to fuck up that youth. Mm-hmm. But then I'm saying, even if you're going to do that, right? I mean, and this is where being smart and tactical and kind of just working within the bounds of your law. They say, well, if you're going to trump up some charge of like, oh, he's he's a want, he's a suspected person of interest, you'd have probably wait like two days. I would have waited two, three days. That must seem like happened within hours. Yeah, like two, three days. And then what's so the, look, the, the... You look familiar and like mm. just whisk him up and then just have him in there and say, you look familiar, like, you know, like... That's where the, the embarrassment started in front of him going, I'm yard. Yeah, and then I take him out. Video of, 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 of him yard. And then that is it. Like, I would not have video him. Like, this, this is where social media come into play. Like, you cannot use the same thing. Mm. What these idiots, what Shaquille do, you got to use social media for embarrassing because him did not try to embarrass and I'm going like him. But, like, you can't flex your muscle like that. You have the muscle of law and freaking order on your side. You don't need to use social media and to flex your like, muscle. It yeah, yeah, abuse it. Like yeah. You take it too far. Because exactly. I would don't establish say him is an idiot. Exactly. Do I'm doing. exactly. You know, I give out your address. He was baiting it and you took the bait and then and unfortunately you taking the bait, this is what happened. Mm-hmm. And it go and it don't look bad and then you have to realize then or you have to think then, is this something that is a deliberate thing where you're trying to make mini- the, the prime minister look bad? Like, or is it a case where him really truly I try to send police? And I said, then if it's a goon squad, you have then just says a goon squad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the police isn't here. The police is not minister, is not Mr. Holness's um enforcers by law for going like shut people up like that's not what the police is for so to my whole gripe with the whole situation especially how the police reacted about video him and then having him f- and forcing him to say an apology on camera it was just like it was super egregious it, yeah, it, to the point where him lie up no yeah him and, and, up, and no, he would have so. every right and you, every right to. and then you see you see how when you play silly games like you cannot like yeah, you cannot play silly, silly games with these yeah, people these you cannot prizes. no to go, to bring it back to um the young miss like mm. you're right i was listening to it and i'm and i'm hearing all the story behind it and it, there's no way like there's no justification for them trimming her locks. There are police and officers then I saw that, that are expressing confusion. It makes no sense whatsoever. None. And I saw, and I saw where, you know, they said that it was because of like pre- a preemptive strike against a suicide um, attempt. And I'm just no like, sense. that no not make no sense either. Like who would commit suicide and use their own dreadlock? That makes no sense. And, you know, so again, a probe have to happen. And I'm I'm wondering if the probe comes out and the investigation comes out and is a finding that we don't, like the public isn't, that don't make the JCF look bad. Mm. And say, so, well, you know, like, say, so, well, oh, it's her. She do it and whatever. Like, I'm sure people are not going to accept it. So I mean, I say, like, even if, if it, like, there's, but the fact that she was in your custody and is in your custody, her, her lock got mm. chopped. It just don't look good. And this is what we have to say. Like you, I, I, and it's sad to me. I mean, I said being poor is the actual crime here because if she didn't even know, like she said, she, you know, $6,000 or, or, um, 10 days in jail. Mm-hmm. 
And I'm not saying that them I think her mom eventually build her out. Yeah, but the fact is like she never even know that she mm. could have that was an option. It seemed like she didn't know that was the option. Uh, it, it's just being poor to because she if it was somebody else, I'm sure they would have let her go or she would have not be it wouldn't even have gotten to this stage or something. I it, it it's just a bad look on the JCF. Like when when you when you when you hear her story you listen to to her account of the of the incident like there is absolutely no justification for it at all and whether it's because she ended up in it because yeah she did a go on and a cuss off the police and a style the police and when the pepper spray gets in her eyes she's justified like she in she says she in her care and then i try to get out money and then you know, pepper spray and just blindly pepper spray the care that not make no sense you're a fucking idiot yeah anybody would be mad you know, so yeah, but as police, you know, have to try and realize our, 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 our act with discretion because you're not blameless. And from, from it, from her account of it, you're not blameless. Like, yes, you pepper spray the car just without regard of anybody in there. Based on her account. Based on her account. Like, anybody would be mad. You would be mad. <laughs> somebody, I come and I try, yeah, I try to catch somebody else and somebody catch by me. I got vex. I say, hey, what should you do? You know? I mean, I want to sound like the government agent here, because that's your job. <laughs> but as we did talk about, there was a growing narrative that Andrew Holness is involved in mm. some of the actions by these rogue mm-hmm. police officers who just take up things in their own hands. Mm-hmm. Right? And I know that even with the, the situation of this young lady right now, we see people that say, oh, you see, like when police when you get this on social media and them thing they oh you're quick you're quick for send police mm-hmm. to do you them see? thing uh, it's just incidents <laughs> I mean, of rogue police officers uh, it's up to them for do them job and do them job properly. properly and what what to see a face now what mr holness have to do now he have to make a, a public talk he, i think this. he has to address he it. has to address it publicly because but he if, to allow, it brings him back to allow the, the probe, probe to happen, happen and people do them job Right. You see me? In but the what come, happened? In the come of get involved, make they the, said the process they're, they happen. They said that they're, they're going to have to cause make this, people do their job or then get appointed for do. But what it is though is the the <laughs> the, the, the the why why it looked bad, especially on this current government, because mm. Bustamante was um the prime minister in charge of the state when Coral Coral Garden incident happened. Mm. Um, I, and it cast people mind back to them right mm. so you know it's it's on um, if you don't know what the coral garden incident is is the like one of the worst days in jamaican history where police by the british colonial state um was authorized to to quash and quell and i guess incite violence into the rasafarian community mm. um you know and it was just a really bad day well, that's a euphemism. That's an understatement. <laughs> but it was just like, yeah, a really horrible, bloody, violent day in Jamaica's history um, against a set of people. And it, and again, it harkens back to do, to that day. And people are, and you know, it's still fresh in the mind because what? This is what? 60, 60, 65, 60 something years ago. Mm. Like, not that far off. Like, people, people could be alive who, who experienced the, 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 um, who who was a part of that violent incident, you know? So I just think that it just don't look good, and I think that's why. And then for I mean, the, the prime minister had to make an pop. He came him in parliament. Mm. He actually acknowledged Coral Garden incident and talk about repatriations and apology and whatever he he made an apology and what ways that they could the Rastafarian community can work together. And then for this to happen, I mean, of course, I'm not saying that is the prime minister's or assurance or you know mm. he gave the directive to do it but of course you are just going to bring it back on of the course like, as, like the master like you say oh you you make the people them go for people who cuss off any so yeah. you need to act now and, yeah but are the people them who involved the police chief in the com they have to do what they have to mm-hmm. do uh, 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 and so and, so and to be honest to be honest Somebody have to get fired. No, head off a roll. I think this is one of the ways that we, off a roll. people need to be people need to be held accountable. Mm. You know, and your your whole your whole Shaquille Higgins accountable and everybody else like people in authority who are supposed to act with professionalism with 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 intelligence. 
with just some level of decency because according to to the young lady she said that the police said that when she come to work she left her heart at her gate and i'm like what <laughs> Who says and she was menstruating at that yeah. point and is it me never it's really it. have the proper things to pan her really deal with that and she wasn't being catered to it was just a bad like day. that but i mean i don't want to undersell it but it really was just a bad time for the for the young miss and again the police I hope that work is. I hope that a thorough investigation happen, and I hope that they can look into it, and hopefully is a is a is a <laughs> is a outcome or a finding that we all can agree to that somebody we we and have some to, justice. Yeah, be, be right. said. Yeah. I hope it's I know, thorough. I hope it's not one of them incidents where them just say, "Oh yeah, we're gonna make a probe," and then we don't hear nothing about this. And it died. Probe, I just died. Yeah. No, we need to know what's going on. So we need to so, know. Um, it's it just not look good. Like it, when I think about it, like may I read it, may I listen to what she has said, and it just not adopting me. There is no way. There is no justifiable way for you to cut somebody locks unless you're trying to humiliate them and you try degrade them and you try and it's, a, it's an attack on them and them identity because this is different because then we're trying to conflict or oh, the young miss was being barred from coming into to school because of the locks that kind of different that, did, that was a different this thing. is like the state literally that is cutting you issue. because if 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 it was a case where somebody have a long hair so it was that indian woman or you know somebody who have a um with Caucasian descent and mm-hmm. have long flowing hair where you literally can wrap round and him in a p- police custody. If you cut the ear it wrong either way, no matter if it's dreadlock or whatever, to cut the hair is wrong. Attack don't. on the religious exactly. rights. And, religion, um, religious and it's not even really just right. Like people here is sacred. Like whether them believe in Rasta or not, like I don't believe well, I'm not a Rastafarian or Rastafari I don't believe in Rastafari. But if you touch me ear a problem <laughs> No, but you know it's different when it comes to like religious it's religious practices right, because it's a when part it comes down to here you know what i mean it's a part of guy have some rust out there that about holy war you know you know start a holy war if you if you hear it you start a war but a holy war different <laughs> well it's my war yeah but i get what you're saying like people here it's it's sacred to them yeah. but like with this you no know, it's like you're upsetting an entire community of people that because have been chastised like, in the past for their years. It seems like year. it's a direct attack mm. on one, well, you know, against one. Mm. And it, you, d- there's no way, no way you can justify it. Anybody who yeah, can, can justify it. That's why it's so it fucking out. confusing because it's like people just say, oh, what just cause did this police have to do this? You know, make no sense, none whatsoever. And then they know one of the worst things because I'm sure people are saying, like, well, she never fight back, but... <sighs> They brought up in the same, the same, oh man, they brought up in the same interview that she said that she was gang raped. I don't know how it was even brought up, but why it was even brought up. But according to the young miss, she said she was traumatized from a prior incident. And I think it was the, the, the PMP caretaker, Miss Sutherland, come up Mm. and say like, well, share what was that traumatic incident. And yeah, there's a general star, like. You know, when you want, she, the police was supposed to defend her and protect her. Like, you're in the state, you're in the state's care, mm-hmm. custody. And to, to, to have to be going through this horroring thing, like, to lose your hair, to be here for your hair, to cut off without just cause. You go out of your way to do that. And you can't even fight back. Mm-hmm. Like, she, because again, to be put into that position where somebody is violating you and you can't respond accordingly. It, it, it's, Im- it's difficult. It's that sad. Difficult. It's sad. It's hard for mm-hmm. this happening, but as I said, I hope that this probe actually happens mm-hmm. and that them keep them word that the details of it are made known to the public. Yeah. Cause this not right known to none. Come me put your body on the pressure. Oh, yeah, on the pressure. Tell me, see, I'm I. I'm only see you sometime. One night, even I try. I'm only see you sometime.